Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about yield from. Um, I mentioned this briefly in a video on generators, so I will link that video in the description, but I figured this deserved its own video, so let's jump into it. Okay, so yield from is a new syntax that was added, I believe, in Python 3.0. Um, I don't know. In any modern version of Python 3, you can use this, so I've, I've forgotten exactly which version. I think it was 3.0, but not 100%. Um, but the idea behind yield from is it allows you to do delegation with generators. And yeah, that's some mumbo jumbo. So uh, I'm going to show you an example or two or three. Um, so just to recap from before, if we have a generator that, you know, yields some values, yields three, and, you know, we iterate over that for a thing. And then oh, we call it F. Let's call it gen. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we actually ended up with dgen there. <laughs> Def, there we go. Uh, for thing in gen. <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> Print uh, dot thing thing. Um, so just very, very basic generator example. Um, you'll see that, you know, we can individually add a, a result to this output, and as we loop over it, you know, it kind of bounces back and forth between the generator and not. Now, what yield from allows you to do is make a, uh, let's say we had a second generator, and this yielded, I don't know, 9,000 before, and then we wanted to yield everything from this generator. And one way you could do that is by doing for thing in gen, uh, yield thing, and then yield you know, 9001 afterwards. If we change this to gen 2, you'll see that this works. Uh, you know, we can yield 9000, then we can yield everything from this generator here, and then we can yield 9001 after. Now, there's a fancy syntax sugar, which prevents the need to write this for loop out. You can just say yield from gen. Now, there's some other subtleties behind the scenes that are slightly different between this and the other syntax. Um, but they're like, I can't, <laughs> I can't think of them off the top of my head. So they're, they're so rare that I wouldn't bother, you know, worrying about it so much. Um, but yeah, you can write yield from. And so what this will do is it'll basically unfold whatever iterable or generator here, and then yield each of those values subsequently here. Now this was, I believe this was added to implement generator coroutines easier, but I don't know. I find it useful for just normal iteration generators, uh, myself. The other neat thing is this thing here uh, that you're yielding from doesn't have to be a generator. It can be any sort of iterable. So, you know, if we had even a list literal here, you could yield from, you know, each of those things in the list directly. Um, you can also have, this one is a, a little surprising unless you realize that strings are iterable. And so what this, this actually does is it yields from, you know, each character in this string. Um, and, you know, you can even use non uh non non generator non iterables but iterators so you could use a range in here as well you can see that that you know splats out the range here um and basically you can use it to you know take take an iterable and add it onto your generator which is uh, pretty neat pretty useful um, but anyway, that's Yield From. Hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.